Just like a child who trusts his father dear and who delights to feel his presence near. Just like a child whose mind is not a dog and whose heart is never proud. Here I come, O Lord. Here I come just like a child. Here I come, O Lord. Here I come just like a child. Just like a child, so we cannot stand. But to hold for and take his mother's hand. Just like a child who sang his bright delight, fearing not the long dark night. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, Mass intentions for the housework has to complete and for the God's blessing to Malik Arjun, Jitendra Vallabh, Shantila, Loknathan, offered by Babalal. These intentions, let us join this Holy Eucharistic celebration. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters and friends in Jesus Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome each one of you to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. Let us thank and praise God for His abundant love, infinite love, merciful love and compassionate love and forgiveness and for His continuous protection and blessings. Let us, with the red intention, as well as our personal intentions, praying for the world, praying for our country, let us offer this Holy Mass I invite all of you and welcome you to this Holy Eucharist cel Eucharistic celebration. With grateful heart, let us thank the Lord and participate in this Holy Mass. O Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we praise you. Father, we praise you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Holy Spirit of God, we glorify you. Holy Spirit of God, we glorify you. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, I once again welcome you for this sacred liturgy. We are in the seventh week of Sunday in ordinary time. Today's liturgy teaches a real core of Christian life. Each religion has got their own literature, liturgy, even way of life. Most of the religions, religious, their liturgy and way of life, they both they go hand in hand, but they clash mostly. But those who follow Jesus as a way of life is really different than the others because our God is so loving, our God is so caring and our God is so merciful in His abundant mercy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, my dear friends. We can differentiate between a religious person and spiritual person. Religious persons are, they just follow what the religion teach them and follow the unwanted rules and rituals which they laterally they added, they follow everything for the tick fat tat. But the spiritual being, the spiritual persons, 
they deep their life into the spirituality of the religion and they go deeper they travel deeper so they become the persons of genuine they become the persons of so lovable and they are kind enough to accept the things what is happening to them praise the lord praise praise the lord. hallelujah hallelujah we find three of them in the liturgy of the day the readings of the day tells us about three persons first king david second saint paul the then thirdly jesus our master king david although he was a servant of king saul the first king of the israelites as god anointed as david's hand the saul is there but david did not do any harmful to them especially to him the saul although he god has given to him twice He always had a beautiful thought in his mind. I will not raise my hand against my the God's anointed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You and me, sometimes we raise our own voices. We raise even sometimes we scold the God's servants as we come before the Lord. Let us ask. I let us ask sorry for the Lord that Master. I have spoken against his own, your own servant. I have spoken against your own sons and daughters. Those who are proclaiming your word, yes, master. Let's ask sorry for that. And in the second reading, we find we are the image of living God. So Jesus is fully human and fully divine. He opened up the gates of heaven. So he opened the heavenly gates, receiving you and me as his loving children. because he is the last adam through him we have the life giving spirit praise the lord, praise the lord. hallelujah hallelujah first adam removed the grace but the jesus the new adam giving us all the time grace upon the grace praise the lord, praise the lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah in today's gospel it's crystal clear that if you want to be the true follower of christ we have to follow all this formula Jesus gives a beautiful characteristics how to be a good catholic how to be a good children of god first he says love your enemies very hard to hear and very very sorry that most of us we never love our own enemies praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah secondly jesus says do good those who hate you Second, second painful incident. Jesus telling, "Do good to those who hate us." Really, as a human beings, we cannot do that. But if God's grace is with us, the abundant mercy of God is with us. We can do anything and everything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus telling, thirdly, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who abuse you. If someone strike, show the other cheek too. Really, the tough teaching. This is the way of life for the Christians. This is differentiating Catholics, Christians, as well as the other brothers, those who follow their own religions. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus did not say just with the similar words. He did it so. As we read in the Luke Gospel of Luke, chapter twenty-three, verse thirty-four, he said, "Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing." Jesus followed what he said. He now lives too. We preach so many things, we learn so many things, we study so many things. But come into the practice. When in when into the come into the practical session, we fail. As we are the children of God, let us ask sorry and pardon for the mercies for the times that we have failed to do. to live a good catholic when we fail to love our own enemies when we fail the times the moments when we are arrogant when the times we fail to follow the values of jesus jesus the man of values yes my dear brothers as we come before this sacred liturgy let us call to mind all our sins and failures that we may clear we may cleanse of our own sins and failures that we may partake in the holy sacrifice the holy sacred blanket of love in a worthy manner my dear friends for the time you and i have not been men and women of love men and women of 
compassion, kindness, showing mercy to others. For the time you and I have not led a worthy Christian life, worthy Catholic life, not abide by the teachings and commandments of Jesus, especially the love commandment, and we have not enough or ought have not loved ought to have loved others. Let us feel sorry and ask God's pardon and mercy that we may be worthy enough to celebrate these sacred mysteries. <clears throat> With deep contrition, let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us all. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us all, Christ have mercy on us, Lord have mercy on us all, Lord have mercy on us, Lord have mercy on us all, Lord have mercy on us. to his people on earth. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. O oh, Lord and God and King of the heaven, mighty God and Father, we worship you with thanks to you. We praise you for your glory. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest And peace to His people on earth Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father Lamb of God, have mercy You free the world from sinfulness Have mercy, Lord, have mercy Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest And peace to His people on earth Receive a prayer, O Son of the Father Care of God for mercy Has run your seat at the right hand You share the throne of glory Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest And peace to His people of none For you alone and one and the holy With the Holy Spirit You are the only Lord most high In glory with the Father Glory, glory, glory to his people on earth. Glory, glory, glory to God 
in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord gave you into my hand, but I would not put forth my hand. The first reading, I am reading from the book of Samuel, chapter 26, verses from 2 to 7 and 9, and 12 to 13, and 22 to 23rd. Saul arose and went down to the wilderness of Zip with 3,000 chosen men of Israel to seek David in the wilderness of Zeb. So David and Abishai went to the army by night, and there lay Saul sleeping within the encampment, with his spear struck in the ground at his head. And Abin and the army lay around him. Then said Abishai to David, God has given your enemy into your hand this day. Now therefore, let me pin him to the earth with one stroke of the spear, but I will not strike him twice. But David said to Abishai, Do not destroy him. For who can put forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? So David took the spear and the jar of the water from Saul's head. And they went away. No one saw it or knew it, nor did any awake, for they were all asleep, because a deep sleep from the Lord's had fallen upon them. Then David went over to the side and stood afar off on the top of the mountain with a great space between them. And David made answer, Here is the spear, O king. Let one of the young men come over and fetch it. The Lord rewards every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness. For the Lord gave you all into my hand today. And I would not put forth my hand against the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, Sir Elsam, your response, please. The Lord is compassion and love. The, the Lord, Lord is, is compassion, compassion and, and love. love. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. Your response. The Lord, the Lord is compassion and, and love. love. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord is, is compassion, compassion and love. love. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. Your response? The Lord is compassion and love. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. As a father has compassion on his sons, the Lord has pity on those who fear him. Your response? The Lord, the Lord is, is compassion, compassion and love.
second reading a reading from the first letter of st paul to the corinthians chapter 15 verses from 45 to 49 the first man adam became a living being the last adam became a life giving spirit but it is not the spiritual which is first but the physical and then the spiritual the first man was from the earth a man of dust the second man is from heaven as was the man of dust so are those who are of the dust and as this the man of heaven so are those who are of heaven just as we have borne the image of the man of dust we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven the word of god thanks, thanks for to god Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you hallelujah 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 Spirit. Yeah, reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter six, verses from twenty-seven to thirty-eight. Luke six, twenty-seven to thirty-eight. Jesus said to his disciples, "I say to you that here, love your enemies." Do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To him who strike you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give it to everyone who begs from you, and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish, that men would do to you do so to them if you love those who love you what credit is that to you even sinners love those who love them and if you do good to those who good to you what credit is that to you for even sinners to the same and if you lend to those whom you hope to receive what credit is that to you even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again but love your enemies and do good and lend ex- expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great and you will be the sons of the most high for he is kind to the ungrateful and selfish be merciful even as your father is merciful judge not and you will not be judged condemn not and you will not be condemned forgive and you will be forgiven give and it will be given to you good measure pressed down shaken together running over will be put into your lap for the measure you give will be the measure you get back The gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ My dear friends already we have heard a beautiful introduction given by our beloved deacon If I ask a question as christian what is the basic call or basic vocation of christian life the basic vocation or call of christian life 
is to be like Jesus or to become Jesus to others. And how it is possible? Only through love. Only through love and not simple love but merciful love or compassionate love. My dear friends, today the liturgy of the word invites us, invites each one of us to be the heroes and heroines of God's compassionate love or God's merciful love. To be the sole channels of God's infinite merciful compassionate love and to become the source of love to others and give life to this broken world. Bring light to this darkened world and pro promote unity, prosperity, joy and happiness in this divided world. After the Holy Trinity, the source of love, second person is Mother Mary and she is the model of love, an ideal person to follow for love for compassion, for merciful love. So let us ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us during this Holy Mass that we may also become like Jesus and like her. So let us seek her intercession and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, if I ask a question to all of you, have you ever fallen in love? Most of the, all of you will say yes or some of you may say no. If I say if I ask another question, have you ever loved anyone? Some of, of you may say yes, some of you may say no. And if I ask the third question, have you loved your friends, your families, your relatives, your near and dear ones? Most of you may say yes, few of you may say no. But if I ask the question, have you loved your enemies? Have you ever tried to love your enemies? Have you ever tried to reconcile with the person who has hurt you, who has harmed you, or who has caused you pain, be it she or he? Perhaps, including me, you and I will be silent. Because we tend to love only the person whom we like, whom we know, or who is related to us. Or who is our kinsman or woman? In Indian context, if I put, especially, it is a sad fact that I will love only my caste, only my class, only my group. Others are less important for me or not at all. Just ignore them. Just neglect them. They are nothing to me. For me, my caste, my group, my class, my clan. But not the other. And that's what happening in this world. That's what's happening in our life. But today, Jesus is inviting each one of us. Jesus is calling us. Jesus is telling, my dear sons and daughters, your love should go beyond yourself. If you really want to be the source of love, channel of love, that is God's love, God's merciful love, compassionate love, then you should go beyond yourself. You should break yourself and love others. But most of the time, you and I only say, what, why should I love that person? What I know about him? Who is he? Who is she? What is that to me? And he's not my relative. He's not my class or my caste. All sorts of questions arise in our minds and in our heart. But today Jesus is inviting us about the 
लव दैट इज गॉड्स मर्सीफुल लव कंपैशनेट लव और फॉर गिविंग लव डोंट फॉर गेट दैट फॉर गिविंग लव गॉड्स लव और जीसस इज लव फॉर यू एंड फॉर मी इज फॉर गिविंग लव लेट अस टेक लुक चैप्टर 23 वर्स 34 Luke's Gospel, chapter twenty-three, verse thirty-four. Jesus said, "Jesus said, Father, Father, forgive them, forgive them, for for they do not know, for they do not know what they are doing. Yet they are doing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. My dear brothers, you see, if someone." speaks little ill of us we tend to speak thousand times ill of that person or we trying to put him down or put her down or trying to do even character assassination through our harsh words or through our harsh judgment or through our destructive criticism but see here jesus those who are crucifying him those who are murdering him those who are killing him for them he is praying to god the father almighty saying father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and this is what god's forgiving love jesus is forgiving love jesus is unconditional immeasurable infinite compassionate and merciful love and that's what we have read today the gospel of luke chapter 6 verse 36 be merciful be compassionate as your heavenly father is compassionate and you know in the first reading we heard david also forgave saul saul who plotted against david who ran after him all them always he tried to kill david he was jealous of therefore i say my dear brothers and sisters jealousy is the bone cancer b o n e bone cancer in hindi we call it irsha jalan हड्डी का कैंसर है हड्डी का कैंसर है जिसका कोई इलाज नहीं जब तक प्यार नहीं जब तक परिवर्तन नहीं चेंज नहीं इन इंग्लिश जेलसी इज द बोन कैंसर हुई हैज नो हीलिंग नो हीलिंग रेमेडी हुई कैन नॉट बी हील्ड अनलेस एंड एंटिल यू चेंज योर सेल्फ अनलेस एंड एंटिल यू बिकम यू ट्राई टू बिकम ए मैन और वुमन ऑफ लव woman of forgiveness woman of forgiving others if you don't do <coughs> if you don't reconcile with one another then that sickness has no healing and therefore today's first reading very clearly it is said though david had all the chance to kill his enemy because it is saul who was trying to kill david and he came with all his soldiers all his army and god handed him over to david but david did david spare his life and in the second reading saint paul is today asking us to live the life of resurrection as rightly saint augustine says christians or we are called the easter people and alleluia is our easter song and as the children of resurrection we are also called the children of light that's what we read in gospel of john chapter 8 verse 12 gospel of john chapter 8 verse 12 gospel of john chapter 8 verse 12 Again, Jesus spoke to them. Again, saying, Jesus spoke to them, saying, "Saying, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, whoever follows me, will never walk in will, darkness. Will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Ah, uh, will have the light of life. Hallelujah! 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 And today, you and I are." call to live the life of resurrection life of easter because we belong to the lord of resurrection we belong to the easter lord that is jesus christ and that's what we read let us take first corinthians letter of saint paul to the corinthians first corinthians chapter 15 verse 14 and 55 chapter 15 verse 14 and 55 
If Christ has been raised, if Christ has been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain. In vain, okay. And your faith has been in vain. In vain. And 55 verse Where was death? Where death? Is your victory? Is your victory? Where was death? Where was death? Is you are sitting? Is you are sitting? You are stinking. You are sting. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my dear brothers and sisters, the focal point, the foundation, the special liberty of Christianity is resurrection of Jesus. and therefore you and i are called the children of resurrection and we are ought to live that life we are ought to live an easter life therefore as i said saint augustine said we are called easter people and alleluia is our song but most of the time because of jealousy because of anger because of unforgiving attitude or revengeful attitude avenging attitude you and i live a sad life a gloomy life depressed life because the evil forces the dark forces inflicts on inflicts on us all these kinds of negativity the spirit of negativism uh, all the satanic spirit devilish forces just uh, try try to overtake us and we become sad we become gloomy we become depressed uh, and we criticize others destructively we try to spoil others do character assassinations beat through our words through our deeds through our thoughts and everywhere and there what we lack lack the love of god god's unconditional merciful love and we fail to love others love one another finally even we fail to love ourselves therefore today many suicidal cases are there because people are not able to love themselves if they are not able to love themselves how can they love others and they tend to become their enemies or foes or antagonist and but today jesus is inviting us to live the life of resurrection through love through forgiving love through forgiveness and that's what we read in gospel of matthew chapter 18 verse 35 jesus if you don't forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart neither will your father in heaven will forgive you also we read in gospel of matthew chapter 18 verse 21 and 22 that forgiveness has no limit it is unlimited infinite there is no limit 70 time into 7 means a don't just uh, uh, multiply and say equal to that is that's the meaning is infinite unlimited and this is possible only when you and i become jesus to others become like jesus and this is possible only when you and i try to love others love even our enemies and okay i can understand from human perspective it may be difficult practically it may be difficult but when you look at from jesus as perspective when you look at from jesus it will be very easy remember my brothers and sisters it may be difficult but it is not impossible to love our enemies because our lord our master our savior our shepherd has shown us on the cross and as we are following him we are ought to do so and therefore he said be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect we read in gospel of matthew chapter 5 verse 48 and this perfection will come we will become perfect only when you and i become the instrumental of love instrumental of forgiving love instrumental of compassionate love instrumental of merciful love so let us pray during this eucharistic celebration ask jesus to shower his manifold blessings and graces and to make to fill our hearts with his heart with his love that we may love one another we may love others we may go beyond ourselves we may break ourselves to love others even love those who are so called the enemies and we will be able to love them forgive them and become like jesus and to become like jesus you have to be like jesus you have to think like jesus act like jesus walk like jesus behave like jesus talk like jesus and this is possible only when you and i become the channel of god's merciful and compassionate love may god bless us for this grace let us today resolve 
ourselves to to be the heroes and heroines of god's compassionate god's merciful love by forgiving others by loving others and by going beyond ourselves beyond our caste beyond our gender beyond our clan beyond our class because in jesus you and i are all equal all our sons and daughters all our brothers and sisters therefore let us love one another because jesus before going to from this world to the father he has given us only two things only two things the first one is his blessed mother and second one is the love commandment we read in the gospel of john chapter 13 verse 34 and chapter 15 verse 12 onwards only these two things jesus has given so let us follow and become like him amen <coughs> let us all stand and present our i believe in one god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator, creator of heaven, heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ He is only son <coughs> who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of our sins the resurrection of body and the life everlasting amen my dear brothers and sisters let us offer all our prayers and petitions to the lord <coughs> dear brothers and sisters gather as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our god let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that worthy of his hearing let our response be lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord in your mercy hear our prayer for francis our pope and pull on to our bishop and all the clergy with the people entrusted to their charge let's pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good let's pray to the lord Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for those who travel by sea land or air for captives and all held in prison let's pray to the Lord Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for all of us gathered in the sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God let's pray to the Lord Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. may the petition of your church be pleasing in your sight o lord so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits through Christ our lord amen, amen. now let us offer ourselves along with this bread and wine to the lord Blessed you Lord God of all creation thanks to your goodness this bread be of fruit of the earth o god for us it will become the bread of life blessed be god blessed be god blessed be god for ever amen Blessed be God Blessed be God Blessed be God Blessed be God forever amen Pray my dear brothers and sisters that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for all the good of all his holy church As we celebrate your mystery so lord with the observance that is your due we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our lord amen 
the Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to, to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead He gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Glory, glory, holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord, Lord of Ghosts, heaven and earth of love your glory. Hosanna the highest. highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna the highest. My dear brothers and sisters, we are entering into the most important part or most significant part of our Holy Eucharistic celebration. So with devotion, let us enter into it and offer everything to Jesus. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. The mystery of faith. We when we spread the the cup, cup, we proclaim your death, death alone until, until you come, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Pola Antony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let us praise the Holy Trinity. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Your us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and glory is now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, who takes care of the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, who takes care of the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, today who invites us to be the heroes and heroines of God's merciful and compassionate love. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, I am worthy that you should, should have my roof. My roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayer of my heart always be. Make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant to me. Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into the world. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the masses and I speak to God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. 
Oh, 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 oh,